While I was out of town this past weekend, I was told of a new trending repository that can create and deploy full stack web apps within a couple of seconds and this is completely free. It's called Bolt.new and the great thing is it's an open source project meaning that you can use it for free or locally and it is quite extendable. In a way, this is a new free alternative to V0, which is Vercel's new UI component builder. Imagine if an AI dev product like Claude Dev or Vercel's V0 allowed you to install packages, run backends, and edit code seamlessly. Well, you can do all of this with Bolt.new. And this is where you can simply just send in a prompt, you can edit it, you can run it, and deploy full stack applications effortlessly. It is going to enable you to access full development environments that support npm, byte, you have next.js, and more powered by different AIs. And this is something that combines the potential with a robust dev environment, making app development faster and more accessible than ever before. Just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing how someone was capable of building a basic e-commerce website, and it was able to be deployed with Netlify in literally just a few seconds. And within the terminal, you were able to see that there were a couple of different packages being installed to generate this application. And this is just a preview of the e-commerce store that was developed. You're going to be able to view the products with multiple different pages. And in this case, it created a catalog of different products with a shopping cart. And in this case, it was capable of building the full on app for you. Now, like I said at the start, this is an open source tool and you can access this on your computer locally by setting this up with the following commands, which is something that we'll take a look at further into the video. But you're also going to be able to access the personal plan, which will give you access to bolt.new on their cloud demo. This is where it's going to be powered by the Sonnet 3.5 model with the 200k context window. You just need to register an account with an email address by simply going over the bolt.new website which i'll leave a link to in the description below on the right hand panel you just need to simply register with a github account or with an email account in my opinion it is best recommended to uh, register with your email rather than a github account and once you're done you'll be able to access both and all your conversations on the left hand panel you can tweak your settings over here you can toggle the team and you can also have it so that you can toggle the editor and the appearance as well within the settings. You can either request it to build based off of the prompt, such as the prompts over here, or your specific customized prompt, or you can start a blank app with your favorite Slack. So in this case, if you want to choose a Slack of your choice, like React, you can click on it and it's going to create a blank React based server for you. And in this case, it will install the package. And what you can do from here is start coding with this artifact type of element over here that you can start prompting to develop. So let's test this out. In this case, I'm gonna prompt it to build a full stack web app for an online bookstore that allows users to browse books of different categories, such as the ability to go through fiction, nonfiction, bestsellers, and it can be so that the customer can add it to a cart and check out. Now, in this case, you can upload your own files so that it can replicate a UX. It can also have it so that once you have written a prompt, it can enhance the prompt to have it so that the AI can easily follow these steps. So now that I have this, let's send this in and let's see what it's capable of doing. So you can see right away, it opens up the code base or the code editor, and it's focusing on developing all the initial files, which you see on the left hand side. It will also focus on creating a user plan to do this. It'll run commands such as npm install, it'll update the files that are necessary, and it'll do this without any sort of human in the loop. So in this case, it'll focus on developing everything that is essential, and within a couple of seconds, we should have this fully developed for us. One thing that you'll note is that it is going to also focus on developing the backend roots as well as developing the front-end components. So in this case, it'll fully develop the full back to the front end for you and it's something that will also allow you to make changes after it has finished developing this so now it looks like it has finished developing all the different steps that we had requested to do so now to run the project it has showcased that you need to start the back end server and start the front end development server so what i'm going to do now is deploy this application by simply clicking on deploy and it's going to focus on preparing the back end deployment and the front-end deployment that it had requested me to do. 
And the great thing with Bolt is that if it encounters a problem, it will also find a solution to fix it. You can see in this case, it had failed to run this command. So it will fix this by filling the dependencies that are needed. And you can see that it's going to now be capable of running this command. This is the app that it was able to output. And you can see that it coded out all the files necessary from the back end all the way to the front end. You can see all the books that it was capable of uh, generating, like in terms of various categories, such as fiction, you have nonfiction, you have science, as well as fantasy. You can view the details. Obviously, it's not going to be able to do this because I don't have anything linked to it. But you can add it to a cart and you can also have it so that it has created a user dashboard for this. In this example, I had prompted to create a doc site for a sample website. And in this case, it was capable of generating this web page, which looks really modern with the ability to toggle the theme. This is an example of the docs that was created. And this was something that could be simply develop within a couple of prompts. In summary, you have a lot of abilities to run NPM tools in various libraries, run Node.js servers, interact with third-party APIs, deploy to production with a single prompt, and you can even share this as a URL. If you are to deploy this with StackBlitz, you can download all of these files. You can even create a repository for it. And you also have the ability to save all of these various files that have been generated with the AI. In essence, this is a great new tool that is a great alternative to Claude as well as V0 as well as Claude Dev. Now, if you are interested in locally installing this, you can simply clone this repository by copying this. You need to make sure that you have Git installed. Go into your command prompt and paste in this link into it and it will start cloning this repository. What you'll need to do next is install PNPM. You can simply go over to this documentation, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, and you can install it for your operating system. Next, you wanna copy this command, which is to install the dependencies, and you wanna head over into the bolt uh, directory, and that's by typing in cd bolt.new, and you can then paste in this install command. Once it has finished installing, what you can do is you can open up VS Code and open up the folder that we just cloned. So in this case, you can do this by simply going over to file, clicking on open folder and find where you had cloned the repository. Once you have opened it up, what you wanna do is click on create new. So simply click on, right click on the panel and click on creating a new file. So create a new file, name it .env. And what you can do is within this file, you want to copy this over here this command which is anthropic api key you can go back into this file and simply just paste this in and you want to paste in your key over here once you have done that just simply click on file and just click on save now once you have set your api key you have all of these different commands you can run the deployment server with this command which is pmp run dev but instead of using the usual command you can use pmp run preview and what this will do is it will start both the front end as well as the back end together. And it's going to ensure that there's a full functionality of your app. And after you paste in the PMP run preview command, you're going to be able to access this on your local host. And that's basically it for today's video on Bolt. This is a new way for you to deploy full stack web apps quite easily. And it's a great alternative to V0 as well as Cursor and as well as Dev. The only problem is it lacks the ability to utilize other providers, which is something that I hope they end up developing. But that's practically it for today's video on Bolt.new. I definitely plan on making more videos and I'll definitely update you guys more on this. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI tools completely for free as well as our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.